why do you think that men get there? Why do you think that they get beta ties? Because they let themselves. Because women will competency test men. And men will go through beta tization through a thousand concessions. I, you know, I talked about an interesting scenario in my book, which is a real life scenario that I saw in a grocery store, you know, myself, where is it, there, there's, there's a guy and he's in the uh, baby aisle with diapers and baby food. And um, he looks beaten down, like his face, just like, he just looks like a can of smashed assholes. Like he's had the worst life ever. And he's got a screaming kid in the buggy, another one in the basket, the wife's pregnant sort of thing. And she's yelling at him, telling him what an idiot he is because he put the wrong diapers in the buggy, right? And it's like, how do you get there? It's like death by a thousand paper cuts. It's, it's beta tization through a thousand concessions. And it, and it starts with, and by the way, it's the same guy that has a barbed wire tattoo around his arm, right? right? Like <laughs> right. I'm guessing you're close to the same age as me. So like that was a popular tattoo for yeah. me, you know, back in the day when I was a, a kid. So he's that same guy. Like, like he was a badass guy that probably rode motor, motorcycles, had a muscle car, she loved him to bits, would give him all the monkey sex hanging from the chandeliers and blah, blah, blah sort of thing. And then, you know, 15 years later, he's this beta in a shopping cart, you know, in the grocery store looking like he wants to kill himself sort of thing. So, you know, it's just yeah. a sequence of, of bad choices and, you know, bad leadership on the guy's part. Um, well, I don't like think women... you, that you can blame women for it, although women do play a part in the, in the equation. We do. We test men. I think that's yeah. what when you talk about, like the way of the superior man, we will constantly test a man. And if he moves that goalpost just a little bit each time, mm -hmm. that's where he'll eventually just be, he'll just be given into whatever you yeah. want. And, and those tests disappear and start to go away when she realizes that, that, that there's no need to shit test you. The only reason right. why she's shit testing guys is because it's a competency test. She wants to know that this guy can take care of shit because a thousand years ago, if she didn't pair bond with a competent guy, it would spell certain death for her and her kids at some point. So she had, she had to make sure that she was with a competent guy. So that's why they should test men. But most guys fail because they're told to be the nice guy, just do what she says, happy wife, happy life. Oh, that's God, like, yeah. you know, the worst lyric that guys, you know, regurgitate all, all the time. She's my better half, you know, yeah. like, come on guys. Oh, and so that's another thing <clears throat> that I talk to my girls about in coaching is that you are not your man's full world and you shouldn't be like, he should have his own thing going on and you got to stay busy. <laughs> There's so many women who, you know, check the phones and get crazy when it comes to wanting his attention all the time. And then when they get it, obviously that's clearly not what they want, but right. I don't know how we, how we switch this in our, society because that that's where so many problems run from is the betatization and the testing and everybody just okay we're just going to cave everything's going to be whatever you say dar darling you know yeah and it turns it into the segregation of the sexes where women don't want to deal with men right and men don't want to deal with women dude like, okay that MGTOW that you were talking about right i'd never heard that before mm -hmm. so that stands for men going their own way yeah, and there's Basically, a female acronym of WIGTOW, which is women going their own way now, too. Oh, Jesus. And, and, and I mean, like, the interesting thing about that is the vast majority of these guys don't select this path in life. Like, like they're not choosing to go their own way. They're actually sent their own way. It, it's, okay. you know, it's like they're not competitive in the sexual marketplace and they're invisible to women. So they say, well, I'm just going to take my toys and march off over here and play in this corner. Whereas women are just like, we don't care, do whatever you want sort of thing, right? Because we're not, we're not even looking at you. Right. Um, there's a very small part of the MGTOW you know, community where guys are actually like just not dealing with women, even though they're attractive and they're cop and all that sort of stuff because they've been through enough. Very rare, but for the most part, it's guys like being sent their own way. Wow. And they, so they've completely given up on the opposite sex. They're, well, are they not celibate? really because they're 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 involuntarily celibate where they would like to be with women like the common trope is i'm i'm funny i'm smart i have a pretty good job um, i don't understand why women don't like me right mm -hmm. and it's like you know and then you look at them and they're fat with a neck beard and they play video games all the time and they they're not influential they're boring they don't have anything interesting going on in their lives of, of course women don't want anything to do with you I mean, you know, your, your $40,000 a year job at Walmart is not going to cut it for most women today. Right. And the dating apps make that imbalance quite clear. Like there are so many men on there and 
just a little bit of women are the ones who actually are getting the attention, I think, for, or I mean, that you're giving the attention to those men. Right. Yeah. It, it's, um, I think the swiping habits, and I talk about this in my books as well, is that women swipe right on, um, sorry, 80% of women swipe right on 20% of men. Right. Um, which is why the highest value men throughout history have always generally dated or, or maintained multiple women in their lives, right? So whether you call it a harem or whatever that may be, depending on where you live in the world. Um, so there's another old trope too, where women are, women would rather share a high value alpha than be straddled with a faithful loser. Wow. Do you feel like that's still true today? It is because multiple women will be okay with, with, with sharing a super high value guy and they'll just look the other way. Um, there's a ton of different ways to break that dynamic down and how it goes. But one of the great tragedies of um, men's lives and women will never appreciate this. Like one of the problems that guys have is they want women to love them in a way that they want to be loved, but they don't understand that women, that women only love them so long as they're useful, right? Like it's the whole... Um, who was it Chris Rock that said it in, in his tambourine stand up? Only uh, women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. Men are only loved under the condition that they provide something. Right. Um, so, like one of the great, great tragedies, there's a lot of good looking, high value men. I mean, you probably see them at like the uh, Sean Whalen, you know, type of events, yeah. tall guys, tatted up, lots of money, successful, smoking their cigars. They own a bunch of guns, you know, blah, 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 sort of thing. And then they've got this girlfriend sort of thing. And they don't understand their real true value and strength in the sexual marketplace. Right. And some of these women, they don't really appreciate these guys. Like they're a little rough on them. They try to put them through betatization, but it's like, if you're a high value guy, that's monogamous to a chick that's generally of lower value than you, because women are hypergamous. They only date across and up. Mm -hmm. You'd think that they'd be a little more appreciative. Right. I mean, but try to get that message through to guys to help them understand what their true value is. They don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. So women always marry up. Do men, I know we talk, not we always. talk a lot. Of, not well, always. Like there are the, the a few women up. that will date or marry down where it's like, he's a stay at home dad and she goes to work, but she's not really happy. Like you can try no. to, you know, convince people that you're happy with that equation. She'd rather be at home with the kids, you know, doing what women are better at doing. And she'd rather have him at work, bringing home the bacon. But yeah, generally speaking, more often than not, women would prefer to mate select men that are at either at their level or higher. Like you've probably heard with your girlfriends, like, I just at least want a guy that's at my level. Like, I don't want to date somebody that's broke. I don't want somebody with dad, you know, he doesn't make enough money sort of thing. He's hot, but he doesn't make enough money, right? Well, right. she'll use him for short term dating, because he's hot. But you know, that's like the alpha seed side of the equation, but then she's only going to settle for a guy that's at her level financially. Mm. Now with men, do they, how did how do they normally go? Do they normally go younger or I don't, <laughs> men, you don't men, see men, going men generally better. don't care. You know, like I have a friend, um, you know, there's an old joke going around, you know, I have a friend, like, you know, when he com comes over the fish stop swimming, you know, cause they're afraid that they're going to get hit on sort of thing. Um, men will go for just about anything, but generally speaking, the things that men prefer is youth and beauty. So a 23 year old woman is, it doesn't matter how hot a 40 year old chick is. She's, she just can't compete with a 23 year old hottie, not even close. So youth and beauty is what men prize. And by the way, that's not just in Western culture, that's throughout, throughout the entire world, throughout history. When surveyed, I think it was men between the ages of um, 19 and 75 uh, were asked what, what demographic of women are the most beautiful. And they're shown pictures in their culture of women in that demographic. They universally select 22 to 23 year old women. Wow. Wow. So then why do you think that some men go for the older women? Is that the, do they have like lack of options, issues? low hanging fruit, mommy okay. issues. It's, it's, it's usually lack of options and low hanging fruit. It's, it's not often that you'll find a high value man that's successful, that's tall, good looking, you know, has his shit together. That's like, oh, I want to date a seven year old. Whenever you yeah. see those things show up on like those TV shows, you know, the reality shows, it's always some 30 year old dork that lives with his mom that starts dating a seven year old woman. That's basically like a sugar mama that pays for his video games. Right. Yeah. They're not having sex at all. <laughs> hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, 
there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.